You wanna help us film our video? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Hi. Yeah, can I get in? All right. Well, welcome to our apartment. I have been meaning to do this for probably about four years. How long have we been in San Francisco? Four and a half? Four and a half years. Four and a half years. That's my husband over there. Hello. <laughs> and I've just been putting it off and putting it off. Uh, up until about a year ago, we didn't really have cute things in here. We moved to San Francisco uh, right out of college. We're totally broke. This is very empty for a very long time, but um, I've been slowly decorating it and it really feels like home now. Um, and then we just did a big deep clean. So while it's still clean before it gets dirty, I'm going to give you an apartment tour. Um, you guys have been asking on Instagram to see more of our apartment for years and it's finally here. Well, welcome to our apartment. Um, this is the hallway when you first walk in. So right here is this red shelf, which um, can kind of get cluttery, not gonna lie. But um, we have our like keys and stuff right here, which has been a big help to keep those right near the door. Also have some books. When we get library books, we put them right here. Hi, Twyla. Um, fresh flowers when we have them. But this is kind of just more of like a tchotchke place. That's how you say it, right? Tchotchke. Up top I have our license plate from Wisconsin. So no longer used, so it's okay if I show you the numbers. I think this was from my first car. So um, we're from Wisconsin originally. This just reminds us of home a little bit. Um, so yeah, this is our shelf. And then you can come in, watch out for her tunnel. <laughs> Our kitchen. She loves this tunnel so much and I trip over it probably like 17 times a day and I hate the color. It looks like a big log of something to me but she just loves it like so we have to keep it. It's just out all the time. Okay so when you immediately walk in the kitchen is right here and I mean it's a pretty small kitchen. This is a little dining area. I think art is super important to have in a home. Art's like really uh, personal to me. So I collect art when we travel. I've been collecting art probably since I was like 16. If you come right over here, you can see this is a, um, a painting I got in Peru when I went there in high school. And all of these things over here are things that I've gotten from travel. So um, most of them are from study abroad in college. Uh, I got this was just so great because normally all the posters you have of the Eiffel Tower are just like very basic and this was so original because it's monochrome so yeah we have like Italy, we have New York, we have lots of Paris, we have a little bit of Spain over here, a little bit of Seattle over there, this hand painted one is from Mexico so yeah this is our international all. So this is a kitchen, it's kind of messy, you can see all the dishes around, it's really tiny as you can see. Um, it's really hard for both of us to be in here and cook at the same time but um, we live in an apartment. A studio apartment. It is what it is. Um, but I really like our cabinets and how you can see through them and everything. It's really nice. It does get a little cluttery sometimes, but I just I think they're so cute and charming. <laughs> so this kitchen has a little some flaws in it. Um, can't open this drawer all the way. Um, and I don't know how many times we have cleaned this. It just won't get white. Uh, but we did add in some extra hanging things. So we added this in. Um, probably tried like 17 times and then we had to hire a task graphic to help us because we aren't handy at all um, but this really helps kind of like free up some of the storage because really we don't have a lot of storage like not a lot um, so yeah over here is this really cool built-in art shelf this is one of the things I really loved about the kitchen when we first saw the apartment we like to try like wineries and breweries in our brewery travel so we kept the bottles for all the places that are really special to us so this is like a Bay Area thing New Glarus it's like a Wisconsin beer but all of these are just special and they're mementos um, and then we have some cookbooks and things, and this is my wedding bouquet. So this is just like a nice little corner to keep some keepsakes. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> now, it's the bathroom. Um, right here we have Twyla's bowl. We actually keep her water separated from her food. This is something that our old cat really liked. He didn't like his water next to his food. So we've kind of just kept up the tradition with her. But bathroom time. So really it's just 
a small, awkward bathroom. Um, <laughs> come in, Robin, and I don't know show. how to fit. You don't know how to fit? But, like, it's this, like, the weirdest little triangle cutout. So, it's just, like, that can't open all the way. <laughs> Everything in our apartment can't open all the way. Um, but I like it because it has like this natural light and everything um but it's it's a bathroom it's not very functional so we've had to put in most of our own storage and stuff um like that so yeah it's a bathroom i have this little thing which is actually a swing for children <laughs> um i got this in nicaragua and my friend gave me a lot of shit because it's supposed to be a baby swing but i saw it and immediately was like i need to put a plant on it and we like to have fresh flowers in here when I'm gonna go to the farmer's market. Right here, I have this little caddy, which is like so handy. So this has my contacts, my hairbrushes, you know, face wipes and stuff. So I like to keep this out um, for me to access. But otherwise, we try to keep everything tucked away so our apartment just seems like less cluttered. Favorite thing about this is this. Um, I ordered it and I thought it was gonna be like this big and it turned out it's this big, but I'm actually in love with how big it is. It really just draws your eye when you're in this bathroom and it kind of adds color to this space. Um, so we matched it. We have a couple different uh, cowls in the same color series, so we like to match it to the painting. Um, we used to have a real plant over here, but now it's a fake one because that one died. All of our plants die in this apartment. Um, but I don't mind too much. I think it looks really nice, very low maintenance, um, but yeah, really like, just a bathroom. The more exciting stuff is out here. Okay, so again, this is more artwork. <laughs> Got this in Ireland. This is from our hometown in Madison. We're both from that area. And then in high school, I volunteered on Obama's first campaign, so snap that poster. I wish I picked up more of those because I'm sure they're going to be worth a lot of money one day, but I'll just have the one. Um, so yeah, I have a lot more artwork. Ideally, one day, this is all going to be filled with um, paintings. I have a whole bunch in the closet I just need to find frames for. They're all shaped really oddly, so it's been a challenge. But yeah, this is again from China. This is my childhood house that my mom commissioned a painting for. Um, this is from our honeymoon in Germany. This is the, I'm going to say it wrong, Robin, the Neuschwanstein Castle? Neuschwanstein. Neuschwanstein Castle. And these are photos that um, my grandpa took. Uh, he passed away this year. Um, and then we have these little, some more little Trotskys, more little mementos, some like rocks and stuff we picked up from our travels. A dead plant in here, again. <laughs> our, our Alexa. Hi. <laughs> Hi. But yeah, I really like photography, so you're going to see a lot of cameras everywhere. Um, but yeah, that's our haul, and then this. <laughs> a lot of people don't see this on Instagram, but um, I love this so much. <laughs> and then we have some more art over here. So another, another little nod to Madison, um, all the things that kind of make Madison fun. Uh, and then this octopus up here, I actually made this in college. Uh, I laser cut it out of wood, so they had some fancy machines that put that all for me. Um, and then yeah, we have a piece of artwork by a friend of Robin's and ours. Um, yeah, this is the hallway. It's gonna change a lot for sure. So if you haven't figured it out, we're required by our lease to have rugs everywhere. So probably wouldn't normally have a rug in here or the hallways, honestly. Um, but it's just the hallway rug. Uh, so this is this is our closet. It's actually really big if you wanna kind of show in. Um, so we can both comfortably stand in here. Uh, we can fit dressers and stuff. We just did a massive clean out. So um, this used to be just covered in clothes, but now there's like room in between them. So um, I think I downsized my wardrobe by like 60%. It is so easy when you're a style blogger to just hoard all the things that you find um, because you have so much fun. I like love sharing all these fashion finds with everyone, but I realized I, I just had too much stuff. So I had to purge it. I have to purge my things a lot to keep it kind of light. So I only kept the things that I really wear. So these are all my dresses. All my other stuff is in a dresser and kind of up above. Um, my purses, as you can tell, I have a theme. I like this wicker style of purses a lot. So a lot of these are thrifted. Um, some of these are from like Target and things like that, but most of them are vintage and thrifted. Um, but yeah, we have this great window here. So it's always full of natural light. Got my hat rack, things like that. This is kind of where I keep all of my scarves and my jewelry. Um, so now is the fun part, the living room slash bedroom, the one room that we have. <laughs> Wow! So this is what you said. this is what 
you see on Instagram most days, because I spend most of my time in this room, uh, Robin, you like to work out in the kitchen, and then I usually work right there on the couch. Or if it's in the morning, I'll be right here working. I do work from bed. That is a perk of working for yourself. Um, but okay, let's chat about all the stuff in this room. This is our bed. We. When we first moved in, we were sleeping on a futon mattress because again, we had just moved here out of college and we had to spend all of our money on first and last rent for this place. So um, finally we were able to upgrade. We have this like basic frame under here, a nice Amazon mattress. Um, but most of the stuff here is from Opal House from Target. Went a little crazy when that line dropped. So the blankets from there, these pillows are from there, this frame is from there. Our beautiful wallpaper is from Target. So a lot of our decorations are from Target. Yeah, more on this wallpaper. Um, it took us like a whole day to put up. It was definitely a bitch, but it's removable. So it's like renter friendly, which is really great. Yeah, that was like the only thing that we were allowed to do is like anything we can take down. So we're not allowed to paint or put up like permanent wallpaper in our apartment, but it just, this wall was just white and it just felt way too empty in here. Just like something was missing. It just was felt too sterile basically. So when I realized that I could put this up, I don't know, the whole room kind of just came together after that. So if you're struggling like decorating a room, it really sometimes you just need to wait for that one piece or that one decoration where all of a sudden the whole vision comes to life. So for me, this was definitely that wallpaper and as you can see it really just anchors your eye over here it makes the whole room pop as you can imagine we have a lot of storage under the bed <laughs> suitcases and stuff gets tucked over here this is our locker um this is probably the thing i get the most questions about on instagram and i love her so much um we this used to be a desk area as my neighbor, she just came and visited. She moved away and she revisited and she said, you were trying to make this desk thing happen um, and it wasn't working. So once I finally go, got over the idea that like an entrepreneur needs to have a desk, once I tossed that idea out, it really made sense to put storage here. And I spent so much time looking online to figure out what type of storage would make sense in a small space. And that looked nice. And it was really important to me to have a lot of different cubbies um, because I really like being able to just like shove stuff in and close it and it looks all nice. So this came up on Facebook Marketplace um, and Rod and I rented a car and we got it for $20. Um, spray painted it all in all. I think it was like $75. So this has been a great, great, great find. Um, definitely check out Facebook Marketplace for cool things. We have 16, I think in total. So some of them are pretty empty. Some of them are like carrying my laptop and like extra beauty products for like reviews and stuff. Um, but it's been just so great. Everything has its own little home. A lot, I get a question a lot if I can remember where things are. You can remember it pretty easily, especially because this is all just storage. Robin struggles a little bit sometimes. It's, this has been a total game changer. Um, has really totally just revolutionized the way that we store stuff because we live in such a small space. Um, so on top of the locker, we have one of our only living plants. <laughs> um, and then just some other decorations and then Twyla's cat toys get kept up here so she can't get them when she's not supposed to play with them. Right by it I put this giant mirror. Uh, we have one on the back of our closet door but it's super inconvenient to use so um, this is our mirror so it's like this big old statement piece and I kind of have this gold this subtle theme going on so found this on World Market, I think. Um, and again, this is another one of our, our fake plant babies. Uh, we used to have so many real plants, and I know, I know a lot of you are gonna comment on this and say all these wonderful plant care advice, which I really appreciate, but this apartment just doesn't do real plants very well. I think it's something with our water. Also, we travel a lot, so we just don't, we're not able to care for plants like you should be. I promise I have a green thumb. This is the only apartment I haven't been able to grow very many things other than these guys and succulents. So we made the switch to fake, uh, fake plants because we kept spending way too much money on the real ones. So this guy is fake, but I don't mind too much. He took three of these and then when the locker came in, we got rid of one, but we just went to Home Depot 
and had a task grab it install this because we could not figure out anchor wall hooks mm -hmm. to save our life. Um, but yeah, I just have more plants up here. These are the only living ones pretty much in our apartment. Um, so uh, this is from a local artist. Her name is Toby Clayman. She's amazing. So if you like kind of quirky, like hand painted art, oh my God, that is so dusty. See how dusty that is? <laughs> Oops. So yeah, just a little bit of art. So all of these little drawings are hers up here. I think they just add like a nice little like pop of personality um, to the place. And then this is one of our new paintings that we just got. Uh, so the one that's by the locker is new, and the ones I'm about to show you are new too. This is from Desenio. I kind of always felt like behind the TV it was just way too white. Like as you can see, it's just like white. And I think this just adds like a nice little color, draws your eye up a little bit. This the stand is just from IKEA. Uh, I thought really hard about getting something that was like had storage under here, but I just haven't found anything that I really like at a good price point yet. So I'm holding out for now. Plants are just under it. Nice little basket. Um, Twyla likes to sit in the plant, which is why it's all bent. <laughs> she likes it's her jungle gem. We're just gonna keep this corner open actually. We used to have stuff here, but we think it's nice having a little bit of breathing room in our apartment. So we are gonna put a cactus right here, but other than that, it's gonna stay empty. I think every house kind of needs a little bit of a neutral space to kind of breathe, especially in a small unit. So this is gonna be a neutral space. So over here um, are some special fun things. So some of our aloes, I guess we have more live plants than I'm telling people. I tell people all of our plants are fake. A good amount of them are live. These are some of the ones that are holding on. Um, we're not allowed to put plants directly on our floor in our lease, so they all sit on books. Um, but I found that was a really nice way to kind of incorporate just some like quirky books and some art books and stuff. Their plant stands uh, also save space. You're kind of hitting two birds with one stone. This awesome poster of California things. Um, where is he? I got my little troll. Every house needs a troll. Um, I grew up in Mount Horeb, Wisconsin, which is Troll Town capital of the United States. So my mom gave this to me when I moved away. What does that mean, you ask? There are just a lot of trolls everywhere around town. Um, a large wooden carved trolls that are like bigger than a human being. They're just everywhere. So if you ever go to Mount Horeb, look for the trolls. I live on this couch. This is our beautiful green couch. Where did we get this again? Interior Define? Yes. Yes, I always want to say article, but we didn't get it from them. Um, so I went bold and we got this velvet emerald green couch, which gets a little dusty because of this one down here. <laughs> but, um, it's been holding on. As you can see, we have to put cat tape on it because she thinks it's her scratching post. So. Um, it's a little, a little beat up, but so far it's been holding up really great, and it's such this great statement piece, and I like how when you walk right in, you see this amazingly fun green couch. Who has a green couch? And it just really lightens the whole space up, and it works really well with the wallpaper, and it kind of adds to the whole jungly, tropical vibe that we're kind of going for, so it's a great couch. Highly recommend it. It was also pretty affordable. It was like 1600 bucks. Um, so yeah, I sit here. Robin doesn't need to sit on it. Mm -hmm. I sit like this. I'm just kidding. This is my side, actually. So, this is my side. We have some little plants. And yeah. then a fake one. Um, but yeah, I've always really liked the jungle -y vibe. I grew up in a house that had a greenhouse. So, we had this entire room that was just full of plants. And I always really liked that jungle -y look. So, even though a lot of the plants aren't real, I'm going to pretend that they are. Um, this right here has been a game changer. So this is the only blind that we have installed ourselves. Got this from Home Depot. Um, it's ridiculously expensive, but this helps so much because this window faces west. So at night, we can still get that natural light, but you're not getting that glare. And it's been really, it's been amazing. And then you just tap it, boom. It's been great, right, Robin? Mm -hmm. like a game changer. It's Especially real nice. We couldn't see our TV before, so whenever, in the summertime, you just like couldn't sit in this spot 
from like 3 p.m. until sunset. Right. So it's been great. Um, and then over here, things are new. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that these are brand new things over here. This used to be completely blank and white. Um, so now we have some fun artwork. This is again from the company to sunny out. Uh, and then this just came today. Um, another big plant, but I really like the look of it over here. I like how it kind of draws your eye up, um, adds to that green space. So yeah, behind the couch is Twyla's kingdom. So way behind kind of. here, you can't see it, but we have our chairs. So when guests come over, we have foldable chairs that we bring out for them for like the three times I can get someone to come over to our apartment. Um, nobody wants to come to the sunset. It's like a San Francisco problem. But we bought her this really cute, ridiculously expensive felt pod that she never uses, but I keep it over here in hopes that one day she'll discover it. Um, and then we have, she likes to sit here though, so um, we laid down this blanket and she likes to just sit on it and watch all the cars go by. Okay, so this coffee table that I'm sitting, hey, no, is, um, is another Facebook market find. So we used to have like this hand-me-down coffee table um, from our neighbor and it, it did the job, but we needed something again that we could put storage in. So that's my major tip for, I'm gonna have to hold these over here. That's my major tip for anyone who lives in a small space is to find furniture pieces that are functional and aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> Trying to film a YouTube video. Um, so yeah, so this one is really great because it lifts up storage. Mm. Woo! Ooh. And then it's, I'm not gonna show you, it's just a bunch of crap in here, but we have like extra pillows, extra books, candles, just a bunch of random stuff is down here. Um, so again, with that in the locker, everything is just like tucked away, which is amazing. And then in here, I got this basket. Uh, it keeps an a once alive plant. That's one of the dead ones. We always just keep that on there. It kind of holds our coasters and stuff. We're trying to be adult and do coasters. I got these coasters in China. So most of the things that we have are either from Target, thrifted, or from traveling. All right, so last up is this. Um, this is something I got on Craigslist actually when we first moved. This has been here almost since day one. I really liked the drawers so you can easily store a lot of different things. So this is where all of our games are and some of my favorite books. So like one of my favorite books is The Catcher in the Rye. So that gets to stay out here. So you have more cameras for decorations. This is where we try to tuck our phone cords. I really try to hide all the cords when possible. Um, just to kind of keep it less cluttery. Uh, but it's 2019, so it's really hard to do that. Everything's has <laughs> cords. Um, but yeah, here's our couple of other real plants that are holding on. Um, we have like a little treasure box, um, some artwork. I got this in Arizona. This is from my mom. This is also from my mom. She has a very quirky personality, <laughs> which is very similar to mine. So I always love her decorations um, that she sends me. Um, but yeah, so this is just like our bedside table. It kind of functions as like a bedside table slash secondary coffee table. Um, definitely accumulates a lot of junk easily if we're not paying attention. Lots of LaCroix cans, it's fun time mm -hmm. here. Um, <laughs> so uh, I have linked all the things that I can link. So all the stuff from Target and everything that is still shoppable, um, not thrifted stuff, I have linked below in my blog post. So if you're curious, I've even linked my outfits. Um, so uh, you can head to whimsysoul.com. I put the blog post in caption below. Um, make sure to subscribe. Definitely follow me on Instagram. So I'd love to see you over there. It's at Lindsay Soul. I'll put it right here. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found some inspiration from it. And my cat's eating my flowers. So I'm going to sign off and rescue them. Bye guys.